Hi, I'm Portia. This is Chef on a Passport. Come with me as I taste and see the world. So again, today's Tuesday, so I, this is my Farmer's Market Live recipe demo. So welcome, you guys. Welcome to my Farmer's Market Live recipe, recipe demo. Uh, today, I found this corn. I <laughs> found this corn out there at the Farmer's Market. All right, so I am going to use um, making corn fritters. So in here I have some flour, I have some chives that I also found out there, some fresh chives, which I've chopped. I have, um, in, I have an egg, I'll have, I have some salt, I have smoked paprika, I have some baking um, powder, but let's go ahead and get started. So this is our corn. Let me go ahead and strip this. that corn strips. And so I'm gonna use this little trick where I'm gonna use a bowl to catch my corn kernels as I cut them off of the cob. So I've got this bowl, I'm gonna sit my corn in here. Now things, you know, there might be a little bit that flies a little around, that's okay. But I'm just gonna carefully cut down that cob and the corn will, almost all of it will get caught into that bowl. So, so far so good. I'm not seeing any flying all over the place just yet. There we go, right in that bowl. So we're at, um, this is probably gonna be one of the last weeks that we see corn at the farmer's market. So I wanted to go ahead and grab these, but um, the same recipe you can use to make any other kind of vegetable fritter. So you can do corn, you can do um, zucchini, you can do any other, just about any vegetable that you like. All right, so I have, I need, I'm gonna start with three cups of corn. So I already have some. Already done, I'm gonna use the rest of this. And this, I'm gonna add it to this bowl with the corn. All right, so now, okay, so that's all my corn. Three cups of corn. So in here, I have some flour. Into the flour, I'm going to add my salt, my smoked paprika, and my um, baking powder. So that's gonna go into the bowl with the flour. I'm also gonna add an egg. All right. I'm going to add one cup of milk. So one cup of milk, okay. I'm gonna mix that together. Let's see, breaking up. Everything mixed in there so you guys can see that. Thank you, there we go. And next, so once that's all mixed, then I'm gonna add my corn. Three cups of corn. And I'm gonna add my chives. All right, so that's about three tablespoons of chopped chives, okay? There we go. So this is what it's looking like. The little corn fritters. It's flour, smoked paprika, salt, baking powder, chives, of course, corn and some milk. Okay. Now I have some oil heated up here. I'm just gonna double check my burner. that so you guys can see that so I have some oil heating up here and we can just do like a little tester okay make sure I'm start, starting to see it fry up so that's good so I'm just gonna let it go a little bit higher but I'm just doing a little tester fritter that's great so that um, baking powder is gonna add a little bit of um, effervescence get it nice light and bubbly so that's what you're gonna that baking powder is gonna do for our fritters. All right. And these are gonna be about a quarter cup or so. I'm just gonna use my um, ladle to get the fritter batter into my pan. I'm starting to see it brown, that's looking good. And with this, I'm gonna have a little bit of um, sour cream with a little lemon, little salt and pepper, and chives also in there. So while these are frying up, we're gonna work on that. So let's see. It's only gonna be a couple minutes per side. Let me see, I got my, yeah. Just gonna, wanted to see what it looks like. Not quite brown enough just yet, but as you can see, it is starting to fry. It is bubbling, so that's good. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few of these down in my pan. So these make a really nice, let's say like vessel, if you were doing hors d'oeuvres, you can serve this with this, and then on top, you know, do that sour cream, which we're gonna do. Um, maybe add some smoked salmon to that, or add some crab as, a, as an hors d'oeuvre, sort, of like sort of like a pancake style. Or I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some salad just alongside it, you eat it with a salad later. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so let's get a few of these in the pan. Oh, so that's the fritter frying up. Now for my, um, so here I have some sour cream in here and I have those chives. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop some of these chives down, add that to the sour cream. All right, so chopping that. Adding it to my sour cream. Add some, gonna add some salt and pepper to this as well. So I have some salt going in there. So again, I'm using pink Himalayan, but you could use um, kosher salt is absolutely some of the best too that you're gonna use in the kitchen. And a little bit of pepper, so a small pinch of pepper. And I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. So squeeze a lemon. There we go. I'm gonna mix that together. We got the chives, the sour cream. Nice. All right. I'm gonna check these guys. So that first one definitely uh, is starting to brown. I don't know if you can see that. And then see the other ones. Yep. So I'm using my spatula and a fork just to give myself a little bit of leverage. So things don't splash around. Flip that. Each pan always has some little hot spots. You can see some are a little more brown than others, but that's all good. So they're cooking through, and that's what you want, and it is getting crispy, which is exactly what I want. All right, these are looking good. So again, I would say you can use zucchini. You could use other vegetables. So when I've done zucchini, what you want to do is you can grate the zucchini, and then you're going to place that in a colander with um, either some cheesecloth or some paper towels because you want those to drain. There's gonna be too much water. For example, in zucchini, I've done artichokes, uh, get those artichoke hearts done and then chop those up and then add that to the same mixture, the flour, the, baby, the, the milk, etc. Add that to that mixture because it's starting to brown on the second side. And I'm just giving a little check. Okay, that first one, that little baby one is done, my little tester. Pull that out. And also you want to add a little bit of salt as they come out, just to the outside too. So I'll show you that on our future ones as they come out. Uh, let's see. So yeah, one of the things too about going to farmer's market. So some of the things you can always do, you want to um, look at, there's always going to be whatever seasonal is going to be available to you. Um, the other thing is feel free to ask the farmer, whoever's working that stand, what you know what do they suggest what can you do what is this if you see something you're not familiar with feel free to ask them what something is or how they would um cook it because they're going to know the best and they want you to buy with the, they're out there selling so don't feel like you're bugging anyone when you're asking those kinds of questions okay these are looking good on both sides nice and brown i think christy i'm gonna set it here on my paper towel lined plate go ahead and drain there we go. I'm going to get that other side a little bit more brown. So I'm going to go ahead and put some salt on this one. Tiny bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. So onto my plate. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. You can see these beautiful fritters. Beautiful corn fritters. Let me get another plate so you guys can see one dressed. Okay. So let's get this one onto a plate. Very beautiful. So nice brown, crispy corn fritter. Then I'm going to top it off with a nice little dollop of that sour cream with the chives and give it a little taste. It looks so good. 
fresh corn in the summer. Mm. That's really good. Yum. So again, corn fritters. Hey mom, hey Hill, I see you guys out there. So I have this these corn fritters. I started again with the fresh corn that I just cut off of the cob, added it to a bowl with some milk, some flour, some smoked paprika, some salt, a little bit of pepper, um, and some chives. Then stir that, add it to my pan, got those nice and brown and crispy. Had a separate bowl here with my sour cream, our chives, lemon juice, a little salt, a little pepper. And here we go. So thank you guys again for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and post this um, if you've missed the beginning and just for anyone else who wants to see the, add the recipe to it. Thank you guys.